Having the right hammer for the job and choosing one with the right features can actually help you hit the nail on the head. Here's what you'll want to know. Now there are several common types of hammers and some that are used for specific jobs. A claw hammer gets its name from the deeply curved claw. It's a go-to for many jobs around the house. A light duty version is useful for hanging pictures and tasks where you're driving in a small nail. On a big job, a heavy duty hammer is more durable and does part of the work for you. You'll need one to drive large nails into hard surfaces or when you're tearing apart or building anything. Rip claw hammers and framing hammers have some features that help during demolition and construction. A straighter claw helps you get into tighter corners or wedge between boards to rip them apart. Some have more of an hourglass shape to direct more force towards the face of the hammer. A larger face makes it easier to drive larger diameter nails. A grid pattern on the hammer's face helps prevent it from glancing off the surface as you strike the head of the nail. It's a good feature to have if you're a beginner or not yet a dead shot. Pulling nails is a common task when you're framing out a wall, so you usually see a longer handle that's shaped and attached more like a hatchet handle that gives you extra leverage. A tack hammer is light and angular, allowing for precision. It's used mainly for mending upholstery. A rubber or plastic mallet also comes in handy when fixing or assembling furniture. Use it to knock apart pieces or tap them together without marring the surface. Now a dead blow mallet won't bounce back like a rubber or plastic mallet because it has metal shot inside that comes down as you strike the surface, deadening the blow. It's a very specialized tool used mainly in auto body work and some woodworking. A ball peen hammer isn't a typical tool for the do-it-yourselfer. The ball-shaped face concentrates force and is less likely to shatter or chip when driven against extremely hard surfaces like metal. It's mainly used in automotive or even in HVAC work when you're shaping metal ductwork. Here are some more helpful tips to help you choose a hammer. If the face is too small, that's when you end up skipping off the nail head and denting the surface. So for thick nails and harder surfaces, you want a wider face and a heavier duty hammer. Just don't pick one that's too heavy for you to keep control of. A milled face can help grip nails, but it can leave a waffle pattern in the surface if you miss the mark. Use a smooth-faced hammer when you're driving nails into soft wood like cedar for a deck or siding. Choose a handle that's comfortable in your hand and durable enough for the job. A one-piece metal handle is most durable. A fiberglass handle is lighter and absorbs some of the vibration. A wooden handle is easy to replace if it breaks or cracks. For the tips, advice, and tools you need, visit your neighborhood ACE and find us online at acehardware.com.